Welcome to Flipped Professional Development at Oxbow and to the new Oxbow Techno Blog. Before every Lunch and Learn, you will be receiving a video that you can watch ahead of time so that when you come to Lunch and Learn, you can get your hands on the computer and explore the topic for the week. This week, we're going to look at importing pictures and videos to StuShare, also with Copy.com and Dropbox. Let's get started. Before we import our pictures, let's go ahead and make some folders um, where we can put our pictures and videos. Go to StuShare. You want to go to StuShare so that students can retrieve the photos easily. Um, choose your own folder if you don't have one yet. Right up here, upper left, you can make one. We'll use Priscilla's as an example. You're going to click on that and create a new folder. I would suggest naming it pictures and then within that folder you're going to make another new folder and I label mine with the year and then the month and then the date and then some kind of descriptor so that you can find it later. Now go ahead and close out of that and plug in your iPad, your iPad mini or your camera. This box should pop up. If it does not, it might be hiding behind a window that you have open, or it might be down um, on the bottom bar there. So it's somewhere, you just have to find it. You wanna choose import pictures and videos using Windows, and this box will pop up. Import pictures and videos, import settings, import. So it's a very important box. And if you want to tag the pictures, you can title them as you wish. Now we're going to go back and find those folders that we created so that it will direct our pictures and videos where we want them to go, like a treasure hunt, right? So import settings, and you're gonna go up here to browse because we don't want them Kaufman. We want them to go into Priscilla's. Go to computer, choose Stu share again, and then you're gonna to wanna to scroll down Find your folder, find your picture folder, and then find the folder you want it in. It should, it should come right down here, and then click OK. Do the same process for the second part uh, where your videos will go. So do the whole same process, and make sure both of them are going where you want them to. Click OK. And then this will come up for these changes to take effect. Import pictures and videos will now be restarted. Okay. Then you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and actually import. I know it's a lot of steps it feels like sometimes. Uh, the green bar will show you as they're importing and I recommend checking this box here to erase after importing unless you want your children to have access to them on the iPad. I like to erase them because then I know what I've downloaded and I don't double download. When they're all downloaded, this is what will show up. Now, to find the pictures, your children, your students will go to StuShare, OB StuShare. They will go to your folder. They will go to pictures, and they will choose which pictures they want by choosing large icons. And there you have it. If you want, you can change all of these numbers to uh, name each picture. I do not do that because of time restraints, but uh, if you can do that, that's great. All right, happy importing.